Welcome back to the World Championships 2018. We're going to watch the individual jumping large dogs. We have a course by Nicolas Renault. We have 145 competitors and the course length is 190 meters. Uh, we have the course map up on the screen right now. And as I said, a 190 long uh, course by Nicolas Renault. And we have 15 jumps, including a wall and a long jump, five tunnels and the weaves. Uh, we watch the course here while they uh, are walking it. And um, as to sum up the whole course, we can say we're going to see full speed dogs and handler with hard brakes. It's a lot of running and turn um, and a turnover, both the wall and the long jump. And as you can see here, between 9 and 10, it looks like it's uh, quite the far distance, but on the actual course, it's very, very close. So I don't think we will have many people who go uh, below 9th uh, towards the 20. Uh, we have almost anyone we have seen here takes uh, above the 9, so they block the tunnel. Yeah, and we can also see number 16 to 17. It's the right tunnel there and uh, a jump to the left. Uh, uh, we're going to see a lot of fast and large dogs doing both those tunnels in one speed. Yes, we will. The white dog who uh, went before was Pepita Knutela and Isa here from Sweden. We didn't get it on film, but uh, we saw the run and she did a perfectly nice run until Isa went straight into the tunnel after number 16. And I still thought that Pepita was good in time, but still the dog took the next tunnel. Yeah, and it's kind of hard. If, if you're too far ahead uh, to the dog, uh, it's just going to run as fast as it can to the other tunnel. And if you break, uh, the chances are the dog can take the uh, jump from the inside. Yeah, it's so um, I think we're going to see a lot of handling techniques on uh, number 17. It looks uh, overall like a very fun course that we will uh, be able to uh, see. Well, if, if they do clean runs, it will be beautiful, I think, because you don't have any option other than running the fastest you can. I don't think we're going to see a lot of savings on this course, actually. No, you can't. I don't Otherwise, think you can. Yeah, you, you, you clean it. Or you fail it. Yeah, I think that's I think the that's, two that's, options. I think today. so too. It's elimination or clean. Maybe a five if you drop a bar or so, but uh, not many other things. But last year's results was uh, Teresa Kralova, who won from Czech Republic uh, with Say. She has number 41 today. Second place last year was Anita Sliagi from Hungary with Dita, uh, number 25 today. And third, Nicola Durandi from Italy with Eira, who has number 34 today. And we have uh, the fastest dogs from Thursday's jumping course team was with five faults, Stanislav Kuroshkin from Russia and Nasle Sternberg from Russia. And third fastest was Natasha Weiss from Great Britain. And fastest with zero faults was Nicola Girandi, Italy, uh, Jenny Dam with Lily and Masanovi Kaitoda from Japan. So it will be fun to see those. And now the course walk is ready. Nicola is out on the course. And we will see soon when we begin. It will be an exciting course, I think. Nicola sends a greeting to all competitors and he says be the best and to all of us supporters he tells us be fanatics his keys when he makes a course are uh, safety of the dog and master passion and pleasure Yeah, and the first one out in the large individual jumping is Anna Winkel from Luxembourg with the Dutch Shepherd Dog hoodie. See here how the course, it's almost 
always so exciting with the first couple of dogs when you see the lines in the course because you don't really have a clue of that until you see a dog run, I think. Over that. And as you can see, she goes between the jump and the tunnel. And she's oh, she's way far before. ahead. It's nice there. Around 14 and wraps it back. 15 on the tunnel. And how does she solve 17? Yeah, beautifully. Oh, it's a drop bar. Means five faults so far. And in goal. Yeah, I really like the course. With a time of 41.09. Number two, Barbara Skarnichlova from Czech Republic with the Border Collie Brook. Into the weaves, a nice entrance. Front cross over to number nine in the tunnel, number 10. Over the long jump, and they need to break the dog. Into that tunnel. And oh, round. what a nice turn. And we have zero faults, 35 21. And we have number three, Daria Skriptuchia from Ukraine with the dog Ched. She's far ahead of the dog into the tunnel. Break nice up to number there. 12. And a nice wrap. Oh, it's a drop bar. Five faults so far. Nicely over that jump. I haven't seen anyone struggle with that so far. Now the first dog looked at the tunnel. Yeah, but nothing more. Let's see how it works. Five faults. Number four. Carlo Fazio from Italy with Border Collie Hindia. Oh, you need he to be fast it. to do like that. Yeah, he lost a little time, but he did a clean part, so works so far. And he has a medium time of 16.94. The leader had 16.44, so if he run, no, that's a refusal. Another dropped bar. And in goal with the 10 fold, 36 48. We have to wait for this. Nicola is uh, checking with the secretary downstairs. He only got one fault. Uh, none, I'm guessing that the refusal was checking out, so five faults. Number five, Alexandre Borges from Brazil with the Border Collie, Eva. He runs fast and Eva looks pretty fast too. Let's see what he can do with this course. It's a good weave entrance, I think, in this course. Not many struggle with that. Oh, that's, that worked. A little bit of a hesitation. Oh, he's going to run now. But he's off on the meantime, almost 20 seconds from the leader. So he has to run if he wants to be in the lead. Touch that wing up there on the... Oh, we, we have, have a tunnel. tunnel. Unfortunately, elimination for Alexandre and Eva. Number six out of 190. Isabel Guedes from Portugal with the Border Collie, Kira. Oh, she does a long start. Oh, that's a beautiful way to start. And how now? Oh. Look at that dog! The crowd what a beautiful is cheering round. in here. 
I got the chills. And she shoots yes. the other way. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, no. no. Yeah. A little misunderstanding there, yeah. which makes the dog uh, aim the wrong tunnel entrance and yeah. then took the jump from the wrong side. But what a fantastic dog of wanting to please his uh, handler and do the right thing all the time. Look at that dog. We have Shizu Song, number seven, with the dog Jin Yunyu from China. Border Collie, look like. It's a little sneaky dog in the start, but he solves it nicely. Through the tunnel, around there. And up to the weaves, yes. Solves that one nicely, and in the tunnel, and he's off by almost a second from the leading time. In the mid. Split. Oh, oh yes. he pushes that dog on there that gap over the wall. There and through the, into tunnel the tunnel and run. Run for it, and it's a zero, 38-28. In second place so far. We have two clean runs And there you so see far. the beautiful weaves. Number eight, Greg Derrett from Great Britain with the Border Collie Addict. And the refusal on number two. He got a long way there, so he loses time, of course. Beautiful into the weaves. And over that fence, nice over nine and into 10. And he's almost three seconds after in the split time. Now let's see Addict. Round, no, no wrong way on that jump. Very nice and tight by Addict. Yes, it was. Too tight, unfortunately. We have number nine from France, Cynthia Perrier and the Border Collie, Heros. A drop bar on number one. Round nicely. And into the weaves. Oh, the weaves lifts over eight and beautifully over nine and into 10. And it's a good split time, fastest so far on 16.34, but with the five faults. Mm, no refusal. Ten faults total, one drop bar and one refusal. But a good time at 36.72. Not the fastest time so far, and ten faults. Time to beat, zero faults, 35.21, as of now. We have number 10, Katarina Povalicheva from Russia with the border collie, Dizzy. And Dizzy is very ready. And they took silver in team yesterday. Let's see what they can do here today. Beautifully over nine and into 10, and it's, she's a bit after in the split time. And a drop bar gives them five faults. And five faults, 35.91. Number 11. Anne Lenz and the Border Collie Itsy Bitsy from Germany. And Anne Lenz uh, won the uh, World Championship 2016 with her other dog, Chi. Let's see what she can do here with Itsy Bitsy. Nice in the tunnel and the fastest split time so far, almost by half a second. She's 
had a split time of 15 Oh, what a nice turn. And, and oh, she, she picks it back up. Outside. That's so nice. This is going to be a great time. Lift those paws. And yes, 33.76. What a time. Almost two seconds ahead of uh, Barbaro and Brooke. Anne Lenz and Itzibisi right up in the lead in this class. Number 12, Hiroshige Yamasaki with the Border Collie Lazy from Japan. The dog screams when he runs. Didn't get the split time there. We have to see on the final time. This works nicely. Oh, oh he takes that side, way. but it's okay. Yes, they saw. No! Oh. Elimination. Well, if you take the jump on that way, they just aim right at that jump. So I can see totally why he took that jump instead. Number 13. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Simpson and Peach from Germany. And they were fourth in team yesterday. So I get, I'm guessing they want to come back. And oh, he runs. What a run. Look nicely put there over the fence there. And a split time of 15.91. He's 10 seconds only after Anne Lenz. Ten hundreds, I'm very sorry, ten hundreds, of course, or split seconds, or what do you call it in English? And through here, let's see what he can do on the time. It's 33.93. Second, second place, place so far. So we have Germany top two and Czech Republic on third place. And you have to be able to put those turns so tight and nice if you're going to beat that time. We have number 14, Natalia Dunusenko uh, from Ukraine with the Border Collie Roy. Very beautiful Border Collie classic look. Oh, five faults there. Dropped bar. And a split time with almost a second after. Big turn. Nicely around that one. Drop bar again. Ten faults total so far. One obstacle left. And the time of 36.19. Number 15 from Spain. Pau Serrano. Siratusa with the Border Collie Supa. And Super is a Swedish breed yes. from Emanuelsons. So it's uh, extra fun for us to watch here. And I know that Osa and Isabel on the O oh. in the audience are cheering extra. That was a really fun way, Super thought. The drop bar and elimination in the wrong tunnel. But we see, as we can see, Super can really run. Oh, he can leave her long way in the weaves, and it works nicely there. Good way. Nice wrap round 14 over 15 through 16. Oh, I would love to see this time. Yeah, it would be great. Look at that dog. And the handler, he makes it beautifully. Oh, drop far more. Then we have Australia. Yeah, number 16, Emily Abrahams from Australia with the Border Collie, Luki. And I think, if I'm not wrong informed, Emily is from Sweden from the beginning. So the Swedes here are very much cheering for her. Yeah, and she's the only Australian that competing at this championship. Oh, look at that dog. God, how he runs. So I know the Swedes are sharing extra for Emily. No, a refusal. Louis. That is a shame on that time because this dog is really fast. A drop bar. Over there. Rap. No, not a wrap. He, he S's it, but they save it. 
And then the tunnel. And she needs to scream and now. Oh, oh look! Nice what a dog! dog. And through the tunnel and forward, yes. Tenfold, 41-62. With that time and those misunderstandings, I would really want to know what she had for time if she had gone clear. Next one. Number 17, Anastasia Lo Lobanova from Russia with the Border Collie Joker. I really love when uh, to see those straight lines when the dog uh, really can stretch out there yes. very, very much. And uh, Anastasia and Joker was in the team yesterday who took silver in the World Championship of 2018. Nice turn, drop, drop bar. bar. But a good time, yes. 35.04, fastest time so far, but with five faults. Oh, sorry, that's my mistake. Of course not the fastest time, the fastest time is on 33. Yeah, and we have number 18, hey, Henk Tima from Netherlands with Feng. Nice into the weaves there. And he's nice and tight over that fence. Nine and in 10 in a split time of 16.85, almost 20 split seconds after. Almost one second after the fastest, actually. And he's in goal on the zero fault, 35-79. Number 19, Jessica Patterson from Canada with Lux. And look at that blue eye. First dog, and she runs for it. Yes, beautifully round. I can't believe she actually managed to be there at the same time as that dog. Over that, in over nine, and in ten. Oh, this is a good split time, almost as fast as the current leader, not really, but almost. Split time of 15.97. Oh, that's so tight over that fence. Oh, Let's see how he come does it in on, here. all the way. And 33.52. Jessica and Lux from Canada in the lead and puts down Anlens and Itsy Bitsy. We have number 20, Daisy Peel from the USA with Frodo. An obstacle from wrong way means disqualification. And as you can see on Jessica and Lux, they had not really the fastest uh, split time, but they managed some really tight lines in the last bit of the course and saved the time. Number 20. Number 21. Iwona Golab from Poland with the Border Collie applause. Ho. Oh. Beautifully around that one, into the weaves, yes. Oh, he's fast in the weaves. Over that one, nine and into 10, yes. Over the long jump and collect, collect, yes. It's a nice way there and tight around 14. In the tunnel, yes. Over that one and just the last couple of obstacles. And they're on goal, 35-51. Number 22. Ridas Maisu Lewis from Lithuania with the Border Collie Groom. Oh, drop, drop bar. bar first. He got off very, very early. And nice over that one into the weaves, 
He can leave him a long way there and in that. And he's off the split time with half a second. Oh, oh misunderstanding and a refusal. So 10 faults in total, 36, 93. Number 23, Michel Weber from France with Hindi. Beautifully put around that. Obstacle, it was very close that he went on the inside. Yeah, you could hear her screaming the dog's name, come here, come here, come here. And the dog was almost coming here yeah. too, uh, too early. But they solved it nicely. She's almost a second after the split time. Beautifully around that one, over. And the, this dog collects himself very nicely. And over there, 36, 70. Zero fault. Number 24. René Prinslow from South, South Africa with the Border Collie Savi. Big turn into the weaves, but they managed the weaves nicely. I missed the split time. We'll see if we can, yeah, they're almost two seconds after, if I can read the clock right. Around 14, a big turn. Hold on to that dog. Oh, no, that's an elimination. He got a long way over that jump and landed very near, so the most logical way was around that obstacle. As you can see here, he just lands and he has not a chance to break in time. Number 25, uh, Anita Siliagi with the Border Collie Dita from Hungary. And they got uh, second place Ooh. in Ooh. World Championships. She pushed the dog around the obstacle all the way around and it came back and yeah. took it from the wrong side. But as we have said so many times before, Sophie, you have to be offensive when you do agility on this level. Yeah. You can't safe. Can't play safe. You have to try. Yeah, and you need to trust your dog 110% yeah. on a course like this. You just have to point, push, and let the dog do the rest. Yeah, and just run like hell. Yeah, you really do. Let's uh, see. Hungary again. This time, Julia Fuzzi with the Border Collie Teague. Number 26. For those of you who are wondering, we will have a short break between 73 and 74. Oh my god. Look at that dog. Dogs like this gives me goosebumps. I saw him yesterday. He runs with uh, his hair up on the back. So I think he feels the excitement really high. Yeah. He must ha have oh, so much bar. adrenaline. Yeah, I think he has. Look at the dog's back. In Swedish, we call it a run with a rag, but uh, I don't know what that's called in English. So I say the hair is rising. Yeah, five folds, 37, 24. He actually looks like a dinosaur when he comes here into that tunnel, jumps into that second tunnel, and look at that <laughs> fur. <laughs> yeah. What a nice dog. Number 27, Dawn Shaw from Great Britain with Geek. And this is a guy who can run. Oh, oh no! And also could dead a dog. Misunderstanding. Yeah, but I think he stood, he actually stood in the way. He was so far ahead that he stood in the way for that obstacle and the dog didn't see it. No. So it took the other one. 
it's just as also as we said yesterday, if you're going to have a good round, you have to let the dogs see the obstacles so they can round it. But when you come in that speed, I'm not surprised that you sometimes end up in the wrong place. Yeah. Because I know how it is to run that fast and know exactly where Let's you're ending up. See it's if not we easy. can see that. Look at this, look at this. He's in the way for that obstacle. Yeah, he doesn't and see it. And the dog doesn't see it coming. Look at that. So he aims at the one he sees. Yeah. Good dog. Number 28, Christophe Dolmot with the Border Collie Haston from France. This is also a quite a uh, speedy dog, but he got a bit of a long turn um, between two and three. Nice into the weaves. This is a fast dog. I want, to there. I want to put my hands together for the surface we have in here. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. He's a little bit after in the split time, though. Almost a second. Because look at these dogs in uh, full speed, and when they break, they don't even slip. No, it's, it's a such great. a good surface. Yes, it is. And he's clear and in on 35.73. In the lead, we have Jessica and Lux from Canada at the time 33.52, second on Lenz and Itzibitzi from Germany, 33.76, and third place, Jeremiah uh, and Pete from Germany, 33.93. And we have number 29, Olena Bulova from Ukraine with the Border Collie Fora. Beautifully into the weaves there. And nice into the tunnel. And he's, she's ahead of the dog and exits that nicely. Oh, look what a collection of the dog. Beautifully. And over there, oh, oh look at no this. No doubt. And she just puts up those hind legs like it was nothing. And yes, 34, 29, zero volts. A fourth place so far. Yeah, and it was a really good, good round. I love that dog. Uh, the technique in that dog is beautiful. Number 30, uh, Snellman uh. Desiree from USA. Number 30, with crew. A little bit of a long jump over there, into the weaves. Yes, around there beautifully, nine and 10. Almost a second after in the split time. And this is beautiful. Almost a little bit of a long turn, but yeah. she solves it. It's a big dog. I think he comes really far in one stride. It's zero points, 36, 32. Yeah, and 36, 32, it's kind, uh, it gives them a ninth place so far. Uh, tenth place have the time 36, 70. So it's really, really tight in the top. Number 31, Nina Gregel from Croatia with Border Collie Vis. Yes, and uh, Vis has been injured and had a long recovery. But now he's back, and uh, Nina says that he's faster than ever. Let's uh, see proof of that. Uh, it's a good split time, almost ex oh, a drop bar. Almost exactly the same split time as the leader. And really tight and nice over that obstacle. Nina Gregel is a great handler. Yes. And it's the time of 34.25. 34.25, it's a middle time, I would say. Yeah. And we have uh, number 32, Mike Peter from Luxembourg with the Border Collie Limit. And let's see if this dog has any limits at all. It doesn't look like it so far. Really nice turns into the weaves. Oh, we oh, missed no. a weave pole. Nice there, up there, yes. And into the tunnel. Oh, he shoots us the other side. Oh, <gasps> okay. It worked. It worked and it looked nice. What does What a dog, <laughs> he, just, he just lands and turns. 
And he makes like pirouettes. Yeah. <laughs> when he's it's running. It's incredible. <laughs> and some Michael people doesn't even bars down. <laughs> doesn't even manage to run like that. And he like <laughs> turning around, <laughs> like dancing on the course. <laughs> what did we get? We get 15 faults yes. and a time of. We haven't got a time yet. There you go. 37.65. Okay, 33, the worst number to say for a Swede in English. Gustavo will have a saying you, since you. It's a misunderstanding. From the border collie no no, and they are already eliminated. He didn't get far enough for the dog, so the dog just slipped in before him and took the obstacle from the wrong way. We have top three up in the left corner right now on first place, Jessica Patterson on the time 33.52. Second place, Anne Lenz at 33.76. And on third place, also Germany, Jeremiah Simpson uh, on 33.93. It will be very exciting to get in those Russians later on who were fastest yesterday to see what they can do on this course. We have number 34, Nicola Giraudi from Italy with the body collie Eira. And this is also a very fast dog. Yes, it is. In Thursday's run, he had the Ooh. fastest time on zero fault, so he won the jumping with the teams. Uh, only three had faster times, but then with faults. And he also took bronze last year. And so look at those turns do. oh, look of that dog. And how he collects the dog and helps to make sure he really oh. gets good collection. A little oh. bit of long turn there, though. But look at, at the time! time. 33-33. We have a new leader. And this dog moves so nice. And you could see over the long jump, he didn't even lift his paws just up and down quick as hell and just continue running and sadly i didn't get a split time but we have to go after number two and see what we can 35 out. rob hall from south africa All the way around, clean so far. Yes, a clean run with the time 37.44. And I think if I look at the crowd, we got Great Britain. Yes, we do. Dave Munnings. It's on the course. Looking good so far. Nice into the weaves. Up over that fence and there into the tunnel. It's a little bit off to split time, but if he does this part really, really well, he can catch that up. Look, nice and tight and really nice and tight over that one. But he's not making the time, but it's 33.80. In the top five, at least, right? Yeah, yeah. he's fourth. Fourth. So fourth far. place so far. And we have number 37, Karin Popovikova, with the Border Collie Blaze from Slovakia. This is also a fast dog. You can see as soon as she asks the dog to collect, he barks at her a little bit just to see, are you really meaning this? I'm running so fast now. They're almost a second after in oh. the split time. Two seconds, actually. Got a long turn there, but they are clean. A long, long turn, but they did not take the tunnel. Over that one, into the tunnel. 
And they are clean. 38-66. We will have a very exciting final tomorrow, I think, with so many clean runs here today. And we have number 38, Kim Kurkinen from Finland with the Belgian shepherd dog, Soro. And they took bronze in team yesterday. So they have a medal already. This is a very, very speedy dog. And it's amazing to, to see this Look uh, at Belgian these dog competing to those slim, fast border collies. He's one and a half second off in the split time. Now he has to make it really, really tight and nice to be able to take the time. And he uh, maybe, I don't think he will be, able, no, he won't take the time, but he can be clear and have a good spot for tomorrow. And he is clear, 36.95. And we, and we have a quick top three wrap up in the left corner. Uh, number 39, Jose Manuel Davila Rosales uh, from Venezuela with the dog. And he ha is not fast enough. That's just Tipai is the dog. Some dog has so long breed names, so we don't have them in our list. So we have to look in the list and the computer. That's why I'm a little bit late sometimes. It's a thing for Border Collies to have uh, extremely long names. <laughs> it's a really nice run and a really fast dog. He's so big that I think that one stride for him is like maybe two for some others. Let's take in our Russian teammate. Yeah, number 40, Natalia Sternberg from Russia with the Border Collie Prima. And she had the second fastest time in the jump, jumping class uh, team in, on Thursday with her other dog. And uh, did participate to take silver in team with her other dog, Shaki. Mm. Let's see what she can do with Prima. This team is outstanding. Oh, she solves that. That's amazing. Look at that weaves. And oh, nice. So you just put and those And she can put her in. Now. Yeah, she's a little bit off in the split time. But we have seen other competitors catch that time in this last part of the course. Oh, no, it's a big turn. She won't make the time. But she can be clear and have a good spot for tomorrow. <gasps> no. no! A way too early there. Right, 35-59, five fault. Let's see this last bar where the jog jumps way too far <laughs> from yeah. the obstacle and put th that bar down. She didn't down. have a chance to get over that one. No. We have number 41, Teresa Kralova from Czech Republic with the Border Collie, say. This is going to be fun to watch. Teresa can do really amazing runs, we know. And oh, she runs beautifully over that one. There and in the weaves, yes. And she edges the dog on over that one. Nine and into 10 and she leaves. She's with the split time, good. If she takes this part really clean and nice, she will absolutely be a oh, contestant for the scream win. Scream at that dog. Oh, yes. yes. A little bit big turn, though, but maybe the time. Run, run. Yes, she makes it time. No. 34-14. The clock didn't catch up until late. But still a good run. Number 42. Ricardo Tubaldini from Brazil with the Border Collie Flora. He, he did a flying start, so he started along with the dog. Worked out nicely. Just had to run really fast. I haven't seen so much of uh, uh, cheaters, cheating dogs in the no. starts, actually. We saw one first, the first day, I think. It was uh, 
a miniature pincher that jumped before uh, the judge had blow the whistle. So yes. it was. Oh the no! Sadly, that's elimination. He chose the dog right, but then he rejects his hand, and the elimination is a fact. We have number 43. Adrian Bayo Alonso from Spain with the Border Collie Sucre. And for all of you who are dying to get some fika or something, there is a pause between 47 and 48. No, sorry, sorry, between 73 and 74. I just turned the numbers. Very sorry. Oh, 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 no, he touched the, the judge the didn't see that. No, he did not. He did touch the obstacle, but the judge didn't see, and what the judge don't see can't be judged. Lucky enough oh. for him. A big turn there. Over that. Over that, too. And just two left. And yes, it's a clear. And do we get a time? 36-13. We have number 44, Don Fader with the Porticoli East Green from Luxembourg. And they're off. One, two, and three, and run. No, oh, that was close. For he a hit. almost got that dog in his knees. <laughs> yes, but they solved it. Solved it nicely. I don't even think the dog had to break. He just ran away. And into that tunnel. Uh, split time is almost two seconds after the leading. Up there. Up on that one. Over to 17. Oh, that's a tunnel. <laughs> and the dog was like, came out of that tunnel and knew I was doing something wrong. But you didn't tell me what to do, so I took what I thought was the best choice. Yeah, and he had to, he was a little bit behind, so he had to raise the last part, the handler. And then the dog took it. Look speed. at this dog. Look at this dog. Uh, it's yeah. close. He just turns <laughs> his head and runs it away. Good dog. Let's see here what we Number 45, Luis Cusumano from Belgium with the Border Collie, Mali. And they were in the gold team yesterday, so they have a gold medal with them already. Oh, that's close to the tunnel, but he, he managed it. No dog in that tunnel yet. I did not get a split time. Sadly, quite a big turn around the 14, a big turn there as well, over that one, three jumps left, one tunnel and jump, yes, it's a clear round and the time 37.27. We have number 46, Maria Piroja from Estonia with the Belgian Shepherd dog Dintz. And this is, this is a Malinois. And uh, Marie was third in the jumping class individually last year, but with another dog. And the dog like took the whole weaves with it. And this, my friends, is a great split time. It's 15.71, fastest split time so far. Yeah, but all the tight turns are left. So oh yeah, my God! That's a tight turn. What a big, nice dog. That's also dog. quite nice. And what do we have for time? No, she doesn't make the time. It's 34.57. Yeah, and it's really proved the first half of the course is more speed that this kind of dogs get uh, uh, a good time. <laughs> a good time. And then all the brakes are coming, and these big dogs uh, can't really uh, do that quite well. We have number 47, Dalma Nagy from Hungary, and with the body call it Mabon. Oh, wrong obstacle. And Elimination. Yes. This is uh, Dalma's first time at the World Championships. This dog, Mabon, actually has two names. He ha he, the names are Mabon and Rumini because they can't choose. 
but uh, we have a little bit of a problem with the clock, as you can see. They are always they're working on it really hard so, it, so that you can see the times. But for uh, the in the meantime, we will tell you about the times. Okay, let's see next here. We have number 48, Monika Rilska from Poland with banana. No, I don't think she's called banana. We will see in our list very yeah. soon. Monika is a real good handler. It usually goes very fast when she runs. And round 14, a good wrap. Chica, 15. Chica, this is Chica. Of course it is. I should have known. And nice and tight over there, but not a time to beat. It's 34.58. And she's in the running for tomorrow. So we have number 49, Leandre van der Merve from South Africa with Sevi aboard the Kali. Oh, and she misses number two, and it's elimination. Time to beat is still Nicola Grandi with Eira. Zero faults, 33-33 in time. With a split time of about 15.70. I didn't get it exactly, but the one who had the first faster time had 15.78. But as we have seen before, they can have uh, not that quite fast time in the split time, but still catch it up on very tight turns in the end. And all of the audience are singing and Sophie as well. <laughs> we have number 50, right? Yes, and this will be fun to see. Yes, Silvia Trakman from Slovenia with the body collie. Two. Two, two. Yeah, the border collie two, and Sylvia Trackman from Slovenia. And she runs, oh, what a beautiful round. And into the weaves, yes, this dog's weaves are just beautiful. And she backs up, and in the tunnel, it's a split time, you can't believe, it's 15.10. And the leader has 15.70, <gasps> so it's almost oh! half. Oh, there she might have lost the lead in that long turn, but she's still clean. She saved it. Oh. But the time... The time, the time is time ticking. Is not going to be, no, 34.65. But the split like time know. was amazing. I would like to know what, uh, how much time she lost up there when yeah. the dog turned the wrong way or it's the other the way. It's all, all, all maybe more than a second, because he has to break then as well. But a clean run is worth so much today. Yeah, she's in the Number run Number 51, tomorrow. also from Slovenia, Masa Seglar with the border collie, Maggie. This is also a fast border collie. Oh, maybe oh not that a fast. late cross. It's a good split time and about, oh, not a drop bar. Five faults so far. Yeah. With three obstacles left. And they're in on the time of 35, 15, five faults. Number 52, Natasha Weiss from Great Britain with Pebbles. And Natasha Weiss was third fastest on Thursday's jump run. Uh, she has taken the world championships multiple times with her medium dog, uh, Dizzy, a border collie. And uh, she will be getting married in a few weeks, actually. Oh, she, so she's already getting a title soon. <laughs> and beautiful into the tunnel, over the long jump. Yet, oh, a drop bar. Over 14 with a long jump there in the tunnel. Oh, and the misunderstanding, no. but they're solving it. No! Oh. Sadly, it was around there too, and elimination. And we're looking forward 
to the next start, which is number 53 from Norway, Aina Bia Lundqvist and the Border Collie Enzo. And the crowd is cheering. Yeah, the Norwegians have a big, big crowd here this year. Beautifully into the weaves. Over eight and nine and in the tunnel. And he's off the split time with one and a half seconds. Oh, 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 about. Oh, oh, oh. The dog pushed that jump yeah. around, even though she did a back cross. Oh, oh no, he ended up in that jump. He really did. That's an elimination. He's also quite a big dog. And when he turned over that jump, he just ended up in the, the jump that went wrong. And we have number 54, Selko Gora from Croatia with the Border Collie, Tama. This will be interesting. Uh, this is Tama's first championship, of course not Selko's, uh, but it's, Tama is not Selko's dog. It's actually another owner, and the owner has said that however this championship goes, uh, they want a lap of honor here with the dog. Nicely done. Over there. No! no! That's a tunnel. <laughs> that's a tunnel. <laughs> Those eyes on Selko when the dog yeah. <laughs> sneaks behind his back and takes the tunnel. <laughs> and let's see a replay here of uh, the tunnel entrance. Here we have Shelko, and he does the blind cross, and, and he, he looks at the, at the dog. dog, and there he stops looking, and the dog is away. <laughs> the standing there. <laughs> so, next one. Number 55, Thomas Berger from Austria with the Portocoli Echo. Oh, round, yes. Up there. He lost a little bit of time on that number, what will it be, five? But still, they're quite a good split time, a second after the leader. And we all know that that can be collected if you do it really, really tight and nice over here. No, that's a long way. Yeah, and he lost a lot of time there, yeah. which means they have the time 35.55. But, but a clean run. run. Number 56, Polona Bonak from Slovenia with the Bordecoli Lin. Look at that cute face. And she has to run because the dog runs. There, over that one and into the weaves, yes. I think it's nice to look at the tail when the dog is running through those two tunnels because it's straight out on every dog and when it came out of the tunnel it's like straight up like it's it's put in its brakes yeah. with, the, with the tail. That's a bit of a long turn around that and a long turn there as well and she was already a half a second off the split time. So she won't be competing for time, but it's a clean oh. run and 35, 60, no, it's a drop bar, 35, 65, and drop bar on the last fence. Number 57, Chrysola Chassapi from Greece with the dog Muffin. And oh, she runs and no, she has not. She is not far enough, and the dog takes that jump from the far side, from this side, and it's elimination. But they can still compete tomorrow, of course, and win the agility uh, individual class, but they will not be able to compete for world champion. Right now we're watching the individual jumping large class of uh, World Championships 2018. Oh, we're 
Here you can see she runs and she sends the dog, but she's too far to the left, so the dog goes after her and takes the jump from the wrong way. And we have number 58, Julia Liutu from Finland with the Border Collie Pirtu. And they were in the bronze team yesterday. Nicely over there, tight around nine and in 10. And they have uh, 20 split seconds after the split time. So this can be collected if they do a really clean and tight run now. No, that's a big turn. Yeah, we need to go tight on every obstacle to be in the top three. Yeah, but they're clean and it's 35-32. And then we have number 59, Morten Jul Hansen from Denmark with the Border Collie Spari. And the Den Danish people here are cheering. Yeah, some Danes actually have uh, a lot closer to this south city in Sweden than most of the Swedes have. Oh no, oh. that's... Wrong way, wrong side of that obstacle means elimination. So current time to beat is as uh, said 0 fault 33-33 kept by Nicola Grandi from Italy with Aira. And we're listening to Avicii's uh, song Wake Me Up when uh, this dog is eliminated. Number 60 Moab Mordomino from Brazil with the Border Collie, Reiva. This dog is so loaded for this. And he runs. It looks kind of calm, yeah. actually. Yeah. But it was heading the, to the wrong obstacle, which yeah, gives them a lot of time. Missed time, yeah, it does. They solved it, but they lost time. Run there and tight and close now. Oh yes, that's a really tight and nice yeah, and turn. And he needed that because he had a long turn earlier. Yeah, and but that's a long turn as well. A third long turn. But they're clean, but they won't have the time. It's 38.04. Clean run. And we have number 61. Elpida Ismail from Greece with Border Collie Diesel. This is also that kind of dog who turns in the <gasps> air. No, sorry. That's an elimination. He read her wrong and took to the obstacle to the right. Tight of that over the wall and oh, it dropped bar into the tunnel and over the last. Now we're taking in Germany. Yeah, and it's Max Spins with the Border Collie Bex. We, ha we have the top three up in the left corner. Mm. And nice and tight. Over nine oh and into God. ten. It's so quiet in here. Yeah, it is. It's a quite I a good split time, maybe 20 split seconds after or something. And I as feel we like don't. I have to whisper to you yeah. because it's so quiet in here. You can you German can only hear the cameras uh, taking it's photos. It's tight and nice, but they won't make the time. It's 34.52, but a clean run. 
actually we have good connections to Germany too, so I think they have a good chance to be here and uh, cheer on their team. We have number 63, Christian Freund from Switzerland with Braveheart. And through there, and this is a fast dog. Oh, it's a big turn there. That's the hard part. You have to break, make the dog take break, but not to put in the brakes, but not too soon. He's one second after in the split time. So now it, it's all about being as tight as possible over the obstacles. Oh yes, look at that tight turn. A little bit big there, but maybe. No, the time is out, but they have 35 and the drop bar. 35 clean and the drop bar, five faults. We have number 64, Yao Shang from China with the Border Collie Burton. One, two, three, nicely. And four. And he breaks nice over there into the weaves. Oh, he ends up a little bit in the weave, but he makes it. But that, of course, that breaks him down, slows him down. Split time, uh, one second uh, after the lead. And he got that even though he got stuck in the uh, weave, so this is quite a fast dog. Yeah, I think this dog takes a lot of ground yeah, when it's he, running. He had some big turns and the time ends up in 37.94. 65, Roberta Boscola, Jiu China. From Italy with the Border Collie, Roger. And then we only have eight dogs left after this one uh, before the break. We have a total of 145 dogs in this class. Solves that one nicely. Into the weaves, yes. And over that there, tight, nice over nine, into the tunnel. And they are about one second. No, let's see here. They are, yeah, about one second after the split time. And a little bit too much break there, so they lost some time. But through the tunnel, and they will be a clean run. Yes, it is. 35-36. Many clean runs, which means it will be a very exciting finals tomorrow. Number 66 is Lisa Frick from Austria with the Border Collie Cody. And they had the fifth fastest uh, zero turn on Thursday. Oh, a drop Lisa. bar yeah. at first obstacle. I don't think Nicola has seen that. And it dropped very late after the dog has passed yeah, the obstacle. I will have to ask uh, uh, the secretary to see if it was judged like that. The time isn't the fastest, and uh, yeah, it says five faults, and you can see there, the bar drops very late. We'll see what it ends up here in uh, code, yeah, five faults, 36.97. We have number 67, Sergio Sousa from Portugal with the Border Collie Cat. A dog named Cat. Yes, she's fast like a cat, I think. And through there, it's a little bit late, but <coughs> oh. not many sec split seconds after the good split time. Really tight on number 14. Nice through there. A little bit of a long turn, though. 
over the wall. Oh, oh no! Oh. It's a misread and she takes it from the inside. I don't think it's misread. I, I, I would do exactly the same thing if I were a dog. I would yes. take that obstacle from that way if I were a dog yeah. when you're turning like that. The dog is taking the wall so tight and nicely and comes up to that obstacle on the inside. I would have yeah. done exactly the same thing I if think, I were a dog. Uh, he was misreading the. Uh, the way the dog came yeah. more. Number 68, Tracy Lander from South Africa with Esprit. Nice round there from afar. Nice into the weaves and she can leave the dog up nice and tight. Nine and into ten. It's uh, split time from a second apart. Let's see what she can do <gasps> here. Oh, no, that's the tunnel. I'm just glad that they did not crush into each other. Because it was very close. She was so late in her uh, cross. Yeah. And the do dog was so fast. So the dog couldn't do anything else than just ran forward. No, I'm just happy they didn't crash into each other. Yeah. We have you number 69, Alar. On the replay, she comes out of the tunnel exactly the same time as the dog, so, yeah. Yeah, number 69, Alar Kivilo from Serbia with the border called Trygg. And I don't know what Trygg means in Serbia, but in Swedish it means safe. A nice weave up on that one into nine nicely and in ten. And they have uh, only 40 split seconds after the lead. So we have a good chance if they're doing this part really, really tight. And they are. Look how tight dog. But the time is out. But 35-25 and zero faults. We have number 70, Wayne Arniel from South Africa with the Border Collie Rage. And he runs, and the dog runs, and they made it. Almost he got too far there. Into yeah. the weeds nicely. Through that tunnel, and he's off the split time with about half a second. That is all really able to take that time if you're really, really tight, and the dog is, oh, it dropped bar. And we have the time of 34.86. Five faults. Time to beat is still 33.33. Zero faults. Nicola Grandi from Italy with Eira. We have number 71. Themi Stoklis Orkopoulos from Greece with the Belgian ship shepherd dog Pisa. And this, this is, is also a big dog, so I think they will be able to take good time here, and then we'll have to see what they can do on the part where you have to be really tight. Oh, the whole long jump. Yeah. It was like a strike. So it's a five. Nice and tight for that big dog. That's a big turn, though. And another bar down. Ten faults. 37.60. Number 72. We're going to fix the long jump. Maybe we could see the top three. We have two dogs left before the break. Here's the top three. Nicola. Giraudi, 33, 33. Jessica Patterson, 33, 52. And Anne Lenz on 33, 76. And those three times are the one to beat if you want to stand at the podium after this class. 
Number 72, Svetlana Kreslina from oh, Latvia. No. That's the wrong With the tunnel. border collie salsa. And uh, it's the second time we see yeah. uh, someone. Uh, earlier there were Paul and Supa who took that tunnel. And we have one dog left before the break. Last dog before the break, number 73. It's uh, Katarina Akimova from Latvia with the Border Collie Shori. Oh no. no, that's a miss of the tunnel and an elimination. She turned a little bit too soon. But as said before, you have to be offensive, you have to try and you have to take chances to be able to beat the time on this course. Top 10 standings in this class. There we go. Top 10 right now. Three Germans in top 10. But we haven't had any Swedes yet. No, they're coming. And we still have the fastest two Russians left to run. So we'll have some pretty good runs to look forward to, I think. And then we will have a short break. We will be back around uh, maybe seven, seven minutes or so. Welcome back to the World Championships 2018 and we are in beautiful Sweden. We are looking at the individual jumping large dogs and we're half through. We're going to start with number 74 and we have 145 dogs. And as you can see um, on the screen, Japan is coming up. And time to beat is 33-33, uh, zero volts. Nicola Grandi from Italy with Eira has that right now. But uh, Masanori Kaitoda from Japan with Conan, who is starting now, had the third fastest clean run on the Thursday's jump in teams. So this might be a contestant for the time. Yeah, but we need to have uh, tight turns everywhere and 100% uh, speed and brakes. Yeah, and he's off the split time with almost half a second, but that can be fixed if you have a really tight second part of the course. As we've seen from the start, the fa first part of the course is really all about running fast, and then you have to be tight and good turns. 34.58 ain't giving them a top time, but they clean. And we have number 75, Susan Garrett from Canada with with momentum. We have so some of the dogs. Oh, look at that! He takes the round beautifully. Some of the dogs have so long names in the start list, so we don't have them on paper. Oh, that's a drop bar, sadly. Five folds so far. Nice around there. A good collection over number 14. Big turn after 15. A missed tunnel with a refusal. And 
now they're in the tunnel. Tenfold so far. Over the wall into the tunnel and one obstacle left. And tenfold, 41.62. So let's take in number 76. It's Ellen Agel from Denmark with the Border Collie Wave. He was really close on number two, but he got uh, over it. And a nice round there. Very tight. Oh no, it's a refusal in the weaves. But nicely put there. And into the tunnel. With uh, five, they are not in the competition of the top here today. It's a drop bar as well. But they are in the competition for the finals. She falls down and he misses the wall and it's elimination. Then they're out of the finals. They can, of course, compete tomorrow and be able to take the title of uh, best agility race, but they can't take compete for the title of world champion. Next up, we have the fastest dog from jumping in teams. It's Stanislav Krochkin from Russia with Sippy. And this, my friends, is a really fast dog. Oh, what a break. And over there into the weaves. I'm betting on a great time here. And the split time is almost exactly as the leader. But this is a little tight dog, so I think that with good turns, they will be able to take the time. No, that's a really big turn. Let's see what he can do over here. And in there, and the time is out. But it's zero, but it's 35-64. Here you can see a really good turn. Next up is uh, number 78, Nikiforos Orfanakos from Greece with Duda, a Belgian Shepherd. Looks good so far. These, this split time is about two and a half seconds of the leading time. Oh no, there she went down and took it again. It's elimination. And we're going to watch number 79, Anja Primocic from Slovenia with any. This is a fast dog as well. Gets a nice round. Look at that dog lifting over that uh, jump. It's amazing and a fast in the weaves over there. No, oh. it's a drop bar. But it's a great split time, fastest so far. Can we get a great time on this course maybe? Oh. No, it's a missed, missed jump and elimination. That's sad on that beautiful round so far. Number 80 out of 145, Juliana Blanco from Colombia with the Border Collie Trek. Oh. Big turn to two and in the tunnel without taking the jump. Eliminated on the third. This is also quite a big Border Collie as you can see. Moves more like uh, the Belgian Shepherd than the small border collies. But the nice thing with the big dogs are that when they can run, they do. And they cover a lot of ground.
Yeah, and we have number 81. It's Veronika Kralikova from Slovakia with the border collie B. And they are off into the tunnel. And oh, what a run she makes. Nicely over there, really tight. I think that's the tightest we've seen over that obstacle. Over eight, nine, and into the tunnel. And it's a great split time. It's almost the same. Oh my God, what a time. jump. Oh no, that's a misunderstanding. Now they have to put this really tight and nice. But they are in, a, in clean run so far. Come on now, the time is out. But they have a clean run, 34-86. We have 82 from Great Britain, Sian Illingworth with Border Collie Image. <gasps> it was almost uh, where the dog started before his handler, but they sold it nicely. Oh, a drop bar. Over the long jump, around there. Nice and tight over 14. And oh, what a nice turn. What a dog. And over 20, and it's a good time. 34, 34, five volts. Right now, we're having, uh, without uh, the, the time faults that are can come 32 clean runs 32 out of 82 number 83 right up alexandra klobovkovska and the border collie yuka and they are unfortunately already eliminated yeah she tried to run as fast as she could but she did not really get in time with the dog Yeah, we have top three right up on the screen. Still in the lead, Nicola Giraudi, Jessica Patterson, and Anne Lenz. And here we can see when she, the dog turns there, she goes a little bit as much to the left and the dog turns in. We have number 84. Algirdas Valciukas from Lithuania with the border collie Rose. And he gets a run for it, and yes, they make it. Nice into the weaves. Over eight. And then oh, almost nine. into that tunnel. Yeah, he made it, but it was uh, made it a quite a late split time. Dropped bar on number 12. Five faults so far. This is a dog that jumps quite long after the, uh, over the jump, as you can see. So he lands long after, which makes 35-11 in time. And five faults. Yes. We have number 85, Miroslav Tomic from Serbia with the Belgian shepherd dog Condor and it's a Malinois. And Condor uh, is the only dog ever to compete in both this World Championship for Agility and the FCI's IPO World Championship. So this is a very clever dog. This is a really good all-round dog, right? Yes. And we have a tunnel. <laughs> and they are unfortunately eliminated. But it's quite amazing to take place in two world championships. I have trouble taking me to one. Yeah. We're going to watch number 86, and it's Pavel Vakonic from Slovakia with border, border collie Fiona. And Pavel did 
a great run earlier today and got in second place with his small dog. Uh, drop bar on first obstacle means five faults so far. But we know that this is a fast handler and it looks like a fast dog, so let's see what we can take for the time. It's a really fast split time in the class with the leaders. And it looks so calm when he's running. Oh, How is this possible? A little bit too calm. Yeah, a refusal there. Ten faults total right now. And a uh, slow time since he got a refusal. But as said, he got silver with his small dog today, earlier, and is running for the World Championship tomorrow with both his dogs. We have number 87, Nomi Schindler from Switzerland with the Border Collie twice. Pavel got 10 faults and 38.63 in time. Oh no. Oh, obstacle from the wrong way means disqualification. Yeah, she almost made it, but it was too far. And the dog turned in to the left. But a nice way into that tunnel. Over that jump. And look at the way the dog takes. It's really, really tight and nice. Oh, he put it. He has to have the front foot over his ears almost on that jump. And the song we're listening to was especially made for the Swedish Championships a few years ago. Yes. It's a really nice song. Make it right, I think. The name is. And we have number 88. Shaoye Su from China with the border collie Sunny. This looks like a fast little border collie. Ah, uh, no. She Obstacle from the off. wrong way. And that's the problem when you're not really as fast as the dog. You draw them to the left and then they see the obstacle and the elimination is a fact. We have 57 dogs to go before we know who is going to be the winner of the individual jumping class in large 2018. And we had the leading time is Nicola Girodi from Italy with 33, 33, zero faults, and he had number 34. So I think it's time to get a really good time again. Yeah, it was some dogs ago. We have number 89, and it's Sissi Graf from Austria with the border collie Jeremy. Also quite a big border collie and as you can see he gets a really far on few strides here in the beginning. Let's see what he can do when it's starting to get close and tight. I think that Wheels wasn't the fastest. No. So he's, it he's took after. a lot of time for the dog to get through the weaves. Yeah and he's after almost two seconds on the split time. And you can see here he has to break a lot. And he runs. And he's in 36, 52, 0 points. Number 90, Raymond Rossi from Luxembourg with the border collie Easy. break too early and took the obstacle from the inside instead of round on the outside yes. and the elimination is a fact Blasevic from Croatia with the Croatian sheepdog Buha. 
And this little dog is uh, actually a rescue dog. Uh, Anya is only 14 years old. She has won the ABC tryouts in Croatia. And they have done two world championships together. And they are two times national champions in Croatia. So this team is good together. Yeah, and this is, we haven't seen a lot of those Croatian sheepdogs. We have seven of those in Sweden, actually. Uh, so but they're competing they're in medium often. Yeah, everyone in Sweden is competing in medium, and this one is in large. It's the time of 36.77, zero volts. Number 92, Andre Mühlebach from Switzerland with Lynn. This is fast. <gasps> Almost oh. wrong up school, but he makes it. But it takes a little bit of time, that break. And on this course, we have no time to lose. Quite a good split time as, uh, anyway, almost a second after. Let's see what he can do on the time on this last part of the course. And I don't nice think round. this time is going to be the best because the dog is stretching out so much over every obstacle. Yeah. yeah. 35.98, but zero faults. And we have number 93, Jessica Patterson from Canada with the Border Collie Tricks. And Jessica is already on second place with her other dog, Lux. So let's see what this dog can do. And it jumped into that second tunnel. This is also quite a big border collie, but I think, I think she knows it because she really um, collects the dog so they get so tight. I think the dog took only one stride between those two first tunnels. Yeah, but she's almost a second after her split time with Lux now. So she has oh, to do a really, long really, really, really good race if that's going to be the time. She's not making the time, but she can make a clean run. And she does, 35-48. Two clean runs for Jessica Patterson, this time with tricks. And she's, uh, oh, we can see the strides here between the tunnels. It came out and like one and two strides and jumps into that second tunnel. We have number 94, Gabriela Ramirez from Colombia with Dundee. She solves that one. Into the weaves, yes. Oh, she he also get a little bit caught in the weaves. And is off the split time with one and a half seconds a drop bar. We have five faults so far. Over the wall, over that, through the tunnel, and out. Five volts, 36, 70. And we have number 95 from Finland, Janita Leinonen and the Border Collie Foo. And they were part of the team that yesterday took bronze here. Fu is sneaking up on Janina. Will she be able to make that? No, she isn't. Unfortunately, elimination for Janita and Fu. they run it's a really beautiful round and we're up at number 96 Martin Raid from Great Britain with spring and we can see the top three there in the corner yeah still on first place Nicola and Era at 33 33 oh, oh my he god he took he that he that was cocky. It. Yeah, it was, and it was very close that the whole obstacle fell, but it didn't, so he made it. He's uh, quite 
uh, almost half a second after in the split time. Over there, through the tunnel. And Picks nice. up the dogs really nicely. And tight over here, yes, no, a drop bar. And the time is 35.56. Five folks. We have uh, Naya, we can see the blind there, and it is goes so smooth. We have number 97, Sir Gottschalk from Netherlands with the Border Collie, June. And they're off. And oh, he, he, he was like run. waiting for the dog between yeah. the tunnels just to check out the dog was with him. Look at that dog in the weaves. And nicely over there, over that one into 10, yes. Oh, I, I really like the, the dog that gets a nice line between 11 and 12. It looks yeah. so smooth. Long turn there. Over really tight and nice over that one. Tight here. I don't think he will make the time. No, but 34.53. Zero goals. It's really tight in the times here. It's crazy. Top five is within half a second. Yeah. It's 33.33 on the first, and number five has 33.93. It's half a second between one and five. Number 98, Natalia Vodsuruha Nova from Ukraine with the border collie Rico. They made that, and they're really nice. Over that, into the weaves. Quite fast in the weaves. Over nine, into 10, and they are off the split time with a couple of seconds. But still, a clean run can get you far. You never know what happens tomorrow. Over that one, over the wall, over that jump. Number 20, and the last one, and they're clear. 37, 50, 45, clear out. And put your hands together for number 99. We have our first Swede up on the starting line. It's Ebba Eriksson and the Border Collie Jazz. Now she has to run. She also takes that turn. She gets a turn from the dog, loses some time, but they get over. There's still zero faults. Up there, nice Japanese. Over that one, through the tunnel. And Ebba runs. She's in good time for that turn. Nice wrap, right, really tight. Hold on to that little Jesse dog. Yes, good over there. She won't make the time, but just Zero can take you far. And yes, Zero, 36.59. And this is Eva's first championship. It yeah. was her first tryout. She lies in the end and cries with her dog. That was amazing. Good feeling to get the zero here. Let's and see next. We have number 100, Jonathan Gulem Rodriguez from Spain with the body collie tree. A drop uh, bar on number two. <gasps> oh, she, he get caught in the weaves, but manages it. No! Oh! oh. <laughs> he was aiming from the wrong tunnel entrance, yeah. but uh, managed to uh, pick up his head and take the right one. No refusal on that one. Just a dropped bar, so five faults total. He will get a slow time, but that might be enough. So, 36, 86, and a drop bar. We have 101, Marilyn Raby from France with the border collie, Nila. Time to beat is still 33, 33, zero faults. That means the split time for about 15, 70. A little bit depending on what you do before or after. Round that one, yes. Over there, into the weaves. Looks good. Over eight, into nine, and uh, 10. And we need a stretching dog here. Nice line up to number 12. 
She's a little bit after in the split time. She has 16.25. But, yeah, and that's a long turn. She won't be able to make the time. And a drop four. And time, 35.91, five falls. Number 102 out of 145, we have Alexandra Gronek from Poland with the Border Collie Deal. Nicely over one and two. She's doing a, quite a big turn, but they are around. And nice into the weaves. Round number eight, over nine through the tunnel, over the long jump. Let's see what she can do on 14. Yeah, that's quite tight. That's a big turn though. Now you have to go tight on 17 here. Do that, and that's a big turn. 35.03, zero falls. And we're up to 103, Margimit from Estonia with the Border Collie, Faye. This also looks like a really fast dog. She breaks almost four meters before the obstacle just to be able to turn. Good dog. Over there nicely. Oh, oh, little stumble there. Quite a good split time, but she has to go really tight to be able to take this. That's tight and good. See what she can do on 17. Yeah, that's also tight. Don't think she will able be able to take the time though. 34, 76, zero fall. Number 104, Kisu Song from China with Sasha. Little bit of a slow turn there, but they're making it. Oh, that's a quick and good weaves. Over that one, over that one, into the tunnel. He follows her a long way with us over that. See what they can do on 14. That's a really tight 14. Nicely put. And he fetches her there. A little bit of a long turn. That's the same oh, over that Oh, the dog fence. stepped on the wall. Yeah, but it didn't fall. No. Zero falls, 41-64. We have number 105, Olivier Maunert from Belgium with the Border Collie Keen. And they were part of the gold team for, from yesterday. So he has a gold medal with him into this run. Around that one. Around that one, nicely into the tunnel, almost a uh, second after the leading time split. And over that one, through the tunnel. Solved that one, it was close, but he solved it. Two obstacles left, and yes, it's clean. 35.56, zero goal. Number 106, Lila Chocol from... <laughs> Lila Chocol from Hungary with the Border Collie Cassie and we have the top three up in the left corner. Still the same standings as last we checked. That was close on obstacle number five, but they made it. Over that and into the tunnel, yes. Over the long jump and collect. That's one of the hard parts to get the dog to really collect after going so fast. Because otherwise you get long turns and you lose time. Yeah, this is a course that really proves that the dog are so great athletes. Yes, yes. 
The dog doesn't uh, just know how to do agility. It needs to have great muscles and great coordination to do this courses this good. We have number 107, Karina Grigore from Latvia with the Border Collie Gepa. And there you can also see how important it is to prepare your dogs for this kind of athletics. So they have to be well muscled and uh, good movements in their body. And it's a split time of 16.31, so uh, half a second. And you, as you can see, this dog has a lot of time in the air. Uh, even though it had quite tight turns, it had a lot of time over the obstacle, yeah. which uh, takes a lot of time. 36.08 and zero volts. Uh, as we can see, the dog uh, is jumping really long and it over the fences. Yeah, and it took to mu so much time. 108, Lisa Lisa Irian Hansen from Norway with the border collie. Gosh! Oh hey. no! That's an elimination of the wrong fence. It's a good run. It's, you have to take the chances on this course. You have to run and you have to trust the dog. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you don't chance, you can never do this course. You need to bet to win. Yes. Number 109, Gustavo Villavicencio from Peru with the border collie Anika. Oh, and a missed no. tunnel and number nine from behind. A new sequence, we haven't seen that one before. No tunnel, but a jump. It's the fun part with this course is that we don't have many eliminations, but those we have are on different parts. Maybe we can see top three right now. Here's the top three, Nicola Giraudi with Ada from Italy. We have on second place Jessica Patterson with Lux from Canada and on third place Anne Lenz and Itzy Pizzi from Germany. Up next, 110, Olga Edrova from Czech Republic with Adar. And they're off. One, two, and three works nicely. And this is a fast dog. And no, she does not. Uh, she isn't able to be fast enough, sadly. And that means elimination. Let's see what number 111 can do. It's Mark van Beek from Belgium with the Porte Collie Gem. And they took gold yesterday in teams. So let's see what they can do with this course. Nice and tight over number two. Round three there. Drop bar on five. Quite big in the landings. Here's also a dog that lands far from the obstacle. He jumps very long and that gets him far, which means he has trouble making real tight turns. But on the long stretches, it really pays off to take long strides. And we have five faults and the time 36-12. Number 112. 
Kasuto Kishimoto from Japan with body collie Yamami. Oh no, that's... Wrong obstacle means uh, elimination. As we said before, he ends up a little bit too close to this side of the obstacle number five, which means that the dog does not see that uh, obstacle and uh, can't get around it really, and therefore looks for another obstacle, and it will be the other on the right side. Very, very easy, I think, to end up there when you come in that speed. We have 113. Bernarda Debus Redsik from Croatia with a Croatian sheepdog, Kira. And Kira is 10 years old. She's quite tiny, as you can see. But still, she runs as fast as she no. can. Oh no, that was around the handler did not show. This is Kira's third world champion, world championships. And top three is not changing so far. We still have Nicola, Jessica and Anne Lenz, Italy, Canada and Germany in top. But we have, uh, as number 115, we have Jenny Damm from Sweden, and she had the second fastest zero fault time in thir on Thursday. So we hope. We cross our fingers. And we have but the second fastest time coming up as well. Before we looking at Jenny and Lily, we're going to watch number 114. Sheng Tang from China with the border collie Robin. It's a long turn after the jump. Good into the... No, it's a missed weave and he has not seen that. So he would be eliminated anyway. Now he took the wrong obstacle, but he would still have been eliminated when he took the next. And now we're going to see the Swedish crowd standing up because we are going to watch Jenny Dam and Lily and take can, uh, the course. Her. I think you could call her the Swedish queen of agility, don't you Yeah, think? she's our Swedish queen. Yes, she is. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, the crowd is alive in here now. The cheering is wild. You can hear them shouting, Sverige. Let's see what Jenny and Lily can do with this course. Oh, come on. No. no! That's a missed number two, and they are eliminated. It's not their championship this year. That's not a Lily thing to do, actually. No. But look at them running, and tight and nice. How could that happen? I think Jenny was a little bit too early away, maybe. I don't know. But they misread each other, and the elimination was a fact. I think Jenny is a little bit far um, in the agility world and uh, training a lot of uh, when she has to pass an obstacle. And I think that's, that's the thing that um, happened there. Let's we see. have number 116, Rose Bailey Baumgartner from Canada with the Border Collie Bristol. And it's a refusal number two. This is a dog that did a sheet start and she did not really come as far as she had planned, I think. Didn't look like that anyway. And it's uh, a long time after the split. A second refusal. Yes. And a third and means that's elimination. elimination. We can
can see Jenny in the goal area just uh, cheering on Lily and uh, I think that's a really good thing with Jenny. However the course goes, she always cheers at her dogs. As it should be in agility. The yes. dog doesn't know uh, when it's going wrong. 117, Susan Kaldenhoff from Netherlands with time. Let's see what they can do with the time then. It's a fast Ooh, little dog. It's a fast dog, yes. And a nice kind of tight turn as well, even though he got so really, really fast. Around there, over that one, into the tunnel. And it's uh, quite a good split time. It's half a second. Oh, if she just hold on to that yes. little, little border collie, this is keep going to be a great time. Come on, keep oh, it tight. Oh, so nice and tight. And this last one, no, she won't make the time. She won't, but it's a nice clean run, 34.85. 33.33 33 had to be a great time, I see now, because I, I actually thought this would be able to beat it. We have number 118, Marie Piruja from Estonia with the Belgian shepherd dog Susie. And Susie and Marie was third in the individual jumping class last year. So let's see what they can do. She gets a little bit stuck in the weaves. Lost a little bit of time there. And we have a second after in the split time. And she takes the long way. Yeah, and I think that was good for her, big, yeah. long dog, actually. Yes, I think that was the best choice for her, but not for the time. And 37.09. But it might be so if she turns really tight, the dog loses any more t even more time since it doesn't it had, has it to doesn't collect have itself. to collect and it uh, just can uh, keep on running. Yes. We have number 119, David Rodriguez from Colombia with the Border Collie K. And look at those sweet spots in the face. Yes. And very almost papillon ears with all that hair. Yeah, it actually looks like a big papillon head. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a Border Collie, not a big papillon. And it runs like, oh, oh my God, but he keep makes it. your stomach in. <laughs> it it was very very close there and he put all the obstacle down <sighs> through the tunnel he's uh, one and a half seconds after the split time he's his stop there would have cost him some of course let's make it a clean and then you're in the competition for tomorrow nice over the wall round there good good two obstacles left and they're in 37 82 Zero David Rodriguez, look at this. He is almost in that obstacle. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh so close. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> oh, uh, he managed that. And that there are Sylvan Sumtherm from Switzerland. And Penny. 120. And we have 25 dogs left. This is quite the fast dog. Let's see if it can be tight as well. Oh, yes, he can. Really tight there, too. What will he do on 17? Oh, look at that 17. 20, the time is out. And 34, 52. Zero goals. 121, Sa Sarah Penasato from Italy with the border collie Alisa. It's starting to seem like 33, 33 are unbeatable, but I th don't think it is. Let's see here. Oh, the dog stopped between the tunnels there. Two tunnels in a row at this uh, level. They he can't believe it. No, <laughs> just, no, 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 that has to be wrong. Nice into the tunnel there. Over that jump. And nice tight now. Oh, look what she does it really, really nice to get him in a really nice tight line. Her, of course, her in a really tight, nice line. Again, a really tight, nice line, and it's a good time. It's 34.94. In the end, the clock is ticking really, really fast. Yeah. 
we can't believe it. Next up, we have 121, 122. Radwan Liska from Czech Republic with the Border Collie Ori. And they almost hit each other there in the start. But they, yes, they manage it around there, over there, in the weaves. Yes, up over the fence, next and through the tunnel. And that's a good split time. It's eight split seconds off the leader. You can hear his feet when he's Get stopping tight, and breaks tight, tight. like yes. boom, boom, boom. And up and tight, tight, tight. No, he's not making the time. 34, 43. Another clean run. And we have Sweden is yes. up. 123, Juni Orenius. Uh, I also would like to say Emanuel Song because he's married. Uh, from Sweden with the Bordicoli Nila. Let's do this, Juni. And he runs. It looks so easy when he runs. I also want to run like that. And in the weaves, and she's so fast in the weaves. Over eight, over nine, into ten. It, they are one He's second jogging. after. One second after the split time, but Nila can be really, really tight. Let's see what she can do. And he takes that side and over the fence. Come on, Joni. Sophie is standing. She can't watch this. The time oh. is out. It was really close on the last fence, but it's there. The bar is still there. And look that was at this sweeps. turn from Nila, and he, she's just breaking his, her hardest and put her together uh, over that jump. We have number 124, Bård Iversen from Norway with the body Whoa! Oh, he does Zappa. that as well. And the back cross. He makes a David. Yes, he did. He does. I'm not sure that. Oh, that's a tunnel. Bordicali in the tunnel. Elimination, sadly. Yeah. We would like to see Bord Iversen put his stomach in on that obstacle once again. Another tunnel. And they go out there. And, and let's here see. He see. Here he comes. And, and he oh, stops. It's close. <laughs> it's close. 125, Natalia Steinberg from Russia with the border collie Saki. And they won a silver medal in team yesterday and they had the second fastest time on oh. Thursday but a four faults. Today is an elimination. Wrong obstacle. But look at this dog running. It's amazing. Still in the top three, Nicola and Era, Jessica and Lux and Anne and Itzy Bitsy, Italy, Canada, Germany. Can look at the times up in the left corner here. We have the standings right now. Some amazing times. But it means that two of the three fastest dogs from Thursday's jumping are out. We have 20 dogs left in this class. And first out 126, Michala Tomic from Serbia with Bordicoli Gazila. Oh, it's a black Bordicoli. Have you seen an all black border collar before? Yes, actually I have. I have a friend who has one, but that's the only one, I think. Oh, the that's whole the whole fence. It almost fell on the dog, but it... Two drop bars. like it goes well. Uh, wrong obstacle means elimination. Yes. Moving over to Brazil, 
Marcela Shichia with the Border Collie Angel. Makes it round. <laughs> Can hear the dog screaming all the way through the course. A little bit misunderstanding where they dropped a little bit of time. The drop bar. Over 17, 18, 19 through the tunnel and Yes, five volts, 3561. 128. Anna Pospisilova from Slovakia with Border Collie Ruka. Let's see what they can do with this course. 33-33 is the time to beat. Then you need a split time of about 15.70. Nice round. Nice line into the weaves. Yeah, that's almost the tightest line we've seen so far, I think. And into the tunnel there. It's 17 straight as split time. Big turn around 17. Nice over 19 there. And there in goes Hero Folks 36.56. We have uh, 129 from Switzerland, Tanya Fendrich with the Porticoli Phoenix. Oh, a tight blind. She managed A nice it. round. But she had to, to uh, lose a little bit of time when the dog hesitated there before that number five. And the split is of 16.47, so almost a second after. Nice and tight over that one. Good line over that. And they're in on zero volts, 35.25. 130, Christos Balazopoulos from Greece with the Border Collie Mio. Big turn after number two. Landed a little bit bad and got a big turn when they tried to get in speed again. That's Another big turn. Oh, he and almost well. uh, fell on that wing on the obstacle. Yes. We don't... If the time does not change, we so right now have 53, 53 teams with zero. 54 now. Zero faults, 36, 71. Yeah, and we have number 131, Shani Elmstedt with uh, Mayday, a border collie from Denmark. And you can hear it because the crowd is cheering. And I'm actually a little bit in love in this border collie. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful to watch. Oh, she takes that side. It's dangerous, but she manages. A little bit lost time, though, in that turn. Exactly like Ebba and Jazz did. Yes. From Sweden. But you never know. A Zero can take you long in the championship. It ain't over until it's over. Nice around 14. Oh, hold the dog! And nice around 17. That was really nice. In 20, and yeah, they're clear. 35 48. We have number 132, Patricia Suferi from Italy with the Border Collie B. Oh, 
Oh, and she called was... left, 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 and the dog took the obstacle round anyway. Oh, look at that. A little late at the split time. But it's all about the turns in the end. Quite good way. Not taking the time, but a clean run. 35-60. 133, Daniel Sevec from Croatia with the border collie Tau. This is their first world championship. Let's see what they can do with this course. Oh, nice round. That was actually a really nice line, I think. Round a little slow in the, the weaves. Didn't have that great technique. A second after in the oh. split time. Oh. You could almost see that. And yes, this dog could. is actually jumping exactly like that, high over the obstacles when it's come in that crossed line. Yeah. Look now. Yeah. We have five folds and 36 to 71. 134. We're almost done. Anthony Gillemot from France with the Border Collie Enox. Let's see what they can do with this course. He almost fell, uh, fall over there, fell over there, and, but managed to get up again. Lost a little bit of time in that turn, but it's a quick weave. Up and in there, it's yeah half a second later in the split time. Has to be really, really tight and quick now to make the time. That's nice and tight that's a big turn the time is lost i think yes but a clean run 34 72. it has to be really exciting for nicola to stand and just see that no one is competing against his time yeah we have top three up in the left corner and it's still the same standing as before Number 135, Anki Bauer from Austria, and with she, uh, the Australian Kelpie that Matrix. Was a good dog. She ends up really long oh. out, but the dog still takes number two. It moved like a crab inside. Yeah, it did, but it made it. And around the, that one, and that one, and into the tunnel. Look how she can just send it away. Matrix, the crab Kelpie. Yeah. She's a little bit over one second after the split time. But I'm really amazed that this dog is reading her so well. Oh, a back cross over the wall oh, and a back cross into the last tunnel. Yeah, and it's a clean run. 35-29. Clean run. This was Leah the Crab Kelpie. Next up, we have Jeff Botelho from USA with Matrix, a border collie. Oh my God, this dog is running oh. so fast. And he was in the way and the border collie is eliminated. We have nine dogs left. Yes. Nine and, dogs. And amongst them, we have Shelko Gora, who has done many uh, world championships. And we has al have also Lisa Frick, who was the fifth fastest zero in uh, Thursday's jump. We still have the five first dog uh, within uh, a half second. Leader 33, 33, and fifth place 33, 93. Yeah, it's unchanged. 137, David Kodebu from Montenegro with the Border Collie Bomber. Oh my God, he's running. <laughs> Good wave into the weaves there. Over that fence there. Oh, it's a drop bar.
Oh, keep up with that dog. Oh, what a nice turn. That's really nice. Oh, oh. he chooses the, the Do downside. Front, front cross. And they're in five faults, 34 51. And we have 138. Selko Gora from Croatia with the Belgian shepherd dog Gunga. Yes, and in it's Gunga's fifth world championship. And Gunga in Swedish means swing. Makes one too nicely, and he runs fast as he Look can. Look at his arms when he's running. <laughs> and in the weaves, yes. And I don't have a split time. Have to look at that board over there. They're almost a second after the split time. But a uh, fast, clean run can take you far anyway, since it's uh, one more lap tomorrow. And nice over there. That's the tightest I've seen today, I think. And 20 and run, Shelko. And they're through. Zero faults, 35 84. We have 139 up. It's Sergio Sousa from Portugal with golden retriever Toby. Yeah, and Toby is actually a Swedish dog. He's bred in Sweden. And he competed both in this World Championship for Agility this year and Obedience World Championship this year. He, his uh, breed name is One in a Million. And he oh, really... No. Oh, no! He runs into the fence. And that's a shame. That's a shame. Oh, my God. This gives me tears. He's, like, sharing his dog anyway because the yes. dog hasn't done anything wrong. And as I said, this dog's name is One in a Million, and it really is. This golden retriever at the World Championship is One in a freaking million. And look how he makes it. He and makes all the, of the crowd, crowd is cheering. sharing him Ooh. into the finish line. Yay. I get goosebumps. I get tears. Look at them. <laughs> this we is exactly them. how it's going to be. We will see them again tomorrow. That's a happy dog in the goal. Look at this. He puts the obstacle. <laughs> I think he thought he was at the second wing right yeah. there. And the dog is just, OK, I'm just running. <laughs> this is fun anyway, and I love you anyway, <laughs> even though you disqualified us. Number 140, we have five dogs left. Esther Boot from Netherlands with the Border Collie Mojo. Oh, that's a dropped obstacle, actually. Yeah, and it gives five faults. And over that, and through the tunnel, yes. And they're uh, all around half a second after the split time. And it's a refusal. Another drop bar. bar, 15 faults total right now. And there we are, 15 faults at a time, 37.89. And we have 141, Lisa Frick from Austria with the Border Collie Jack. And they had the fifth fastest time on jumping class this Thursday. Let's see what they can do with the time. Lisa Frick is uh, used to be at the World Championship. She has done this before. Yes, over there into the weaves. Over that jump, there and into the tunnel. And they have almost the same split time as the leader. Come on, Lisa. Let's give us a challenge here and around yeah no that's a big turn now she has to run no she won't be able to make the time but it's a nice round 34 85 and zero fault we have number 142 out of 145 it's Lili Foror from Hungary with the Belgian shepherd dog Damil No, wrong tunnel. Eliminated. He, he chose that way instead. Three dogs left, and we still have the same top three as before. 
first place, Nicola and Eira from Italy, Jessica Patterson and Lux from Canada, and on third place, Anne Lenz and Itzy Pizzi from Germany. And you can see the times in the screen right now. We have the uh, standings. This is so exciting. Or is it? Is it exciting? We have three dogs left, and these three have been in the top three quite a long time now. Yes. From before the break, we have had the same positions in the top five. Yeah. Let's see what Natalia Loginova from Latvia can do with Chile. A border collie named Chile. Three dogs left. Oh my god, this Do dog is tunnel. going so fast. Yeah, but the long turn on that one. Long turn into the weeds, but quick weaves over that. Over next into the tunnel. And it's, yeah, it's 20, 30 split seconds after. Oh, that was almost a tunnel, but it wasn't. She won't be able to make the time, but it can be a clear round. And it is, clear round, 35.02. Two more teams to go. First out, Alar Kivilo from Serbia with the border collie Tuffy. And they're off. I don't think he was meant oh. to start as soon as the dog, but it was, that became like that. The dog slipped a little bit between the jump and the weaves. Yeah, and this is also a dog that jumps quite long over the fences. So he loses a little, little bit of air time over every obstacle. Around there, and the wall. Three more jumps. Obstacles, of course, and the last one, and they're through. Zero faults, 37 31. And last one out for today and for the class, it's Morten Jul Hansen from Denmark with the Border Collie Guide. Let's see what Morten and Guide can do with this course. Good one. Nice way into the weaves there. And over that fence, into the tunnel. They are one second after in split time. Oh, he waited a little bit too long for yeah. the dog right there. Long turn there, but a really nice, oh, a drop bar. Drop bar, but a really nice turn though. And they are five faults, 37, 36.07. Yes, and this was everything for today. A really, really nice day with a really nice uh, laps. Top three. On first place, Nicola Grady from Italy with Era. Second place, Jessica Patterson from Canada with Lux. And on third place, Anne Lenz from Germany with Itzy Pixi. And soon we're going to see top 10 on the screen. We're waiting for the top 10, the guys that are uh, doing the live streaming is working as fast as they can. And our crew is cleaning the course so that we will be able to have a uh, honor, lap of honor, of course. There we have top 10. Oh, we have a split right here between Max Spins, Spi Max spins and yeah, we have a split between Max spins and Sylvan Sumterm -therm on uh, ninth place. So this is it. We, we have will see all the the uh, uh, clean teams. runs. Yeah, all the clean runs. Um, Thank you. Though, as you can see, they are so tight times. It's two on 34.58, for example. Two on 34.25. It's 2 on 34, 35, 48. We have 62 clean runs. Yeah, and that's 62 amazing. Clean runs. 
what a final tomorrow it will be uh, yeah it i'm be not sure i will survive no many tears many goosebumps and a lot of joy yeah tomorrow we'll and be we back have, we are we are very glad to have two sweeps in those zeros and here we have the ones with faults And here Fika and Lagom are dancing on the chorus. And we're going to see the winning lap. Here it is. Look at this run. Nicola Grandi from Italy with his era. Actually, she gets quite the turns around those obstacles. So she just has to be really, really, really fast in the well, yeah. in herself. We talked about it. She took takes a lot of ground when she's running. And look at that turn. Yeah, it's almost nice. right back at. And here and you can see really tight over there and back there. It's quite a long turn. Yeah, it's so quite I a think long turn. she's so just really, really fast. What a run. Look at this dog and look at that collection she made there. And into that weaves. Here we have the winner of this jumping class from Italy. Well, uh, now you will be able to see the lap of honor, of course, and the prize ceremony and everything with the sound of the arena. Sophie and I are thanking you for this time, and we will see you again tomorrow. We will be commenting small and large tomorrow in the finals. And Fanny will have you be with you at the medium finals. Have a nice night. And in first place, Nicola Giraudi with Eira from Italy.
Finals for Nicola, Jessica and Anne. So, Nicola, tomorrow you're going out last in the finals. What are your thoughts and feelings about that? Well, the feeling is amazing. Like, it was on Thursday. So, I'm so amazed that we had two phenomenal jumpers. And I'm just going to go all that I have on Sunday. Well, congratulations, and I wish you the best of luck. Give it up for Nicola and Ada.